After the struggles early in the season, Joe Flacco has turned the corner. Ryan, love it or hate it? Oh, Ooh. I hate that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't say it yet. I mean, we all remember the mannequin challenge. Sorry, I had to do that. And, and we That's remember good. the, the thanks. Well the, <laughs> it's not too hard to do. Hard. Uh, we remember the mannequin challenge and all the celebrations, and all that. We forget about the two interceptions that Joe had. Uh, so he's still, you know, making some not wise decisions at times in games. And once again, it was the Cleveland Browns defense. I'm sorry. I, I don't think Joe is all of a sudden flipped the switch and one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL this season. Yeah, man, I, I, I have to agree with you, man. You know, I, I hate it, you know, and I hate to say I hate it, but I hate yeah. it, you know, because it's too early to just make that type of big assessment. No doubt I think Joe made some steps to go in the right direction, but yeah. it's not enough for me to just jump all the way on the bandwagon and say, Joe's right there where he always was. <laughs> Joe's doing great, but everything is going to go the direction. I am going for it. I say I love it. Oh, I'm going to go for it. And this is not like Flacco Homer stuff because I've been hard on him this year. Yeah. Yeah, this you're is historically Homer. You're a flat <laughs> yes, Not lover. this season. For good reason, but not this season. For good reason, but not this season. But here's why. And I get all the caveats. It was the Browns. But you go back and check the tape in, the, in, the, in that second half, okay? Things that people have been criticizing him for, he changed. And go and roll the tape specifically on the touchdown pass to Waller, where he, the pressure was bearing down. He pumped fake to Steve Smith, made the defenders come in, held it, and then went to the back of the end zone for Waller and threaded a needle. He stepped into it. All these quarterback mechanic experts these days talking about him going off the back foot. He stepped into it, went through it. I saw a little bit of a flip for him. It was, it was a different job than we've seen this year, and I think he's going to carry it. And I don't care that it was the Browns. They did not give up those touchdowns. He went and got them. I will them. say that Joe, I think a lot of what dictates how Joe plays is his confidence level. Yeah. And when he can get on a roll with that no huddle and get things rolling, he gets confident, and then he plays like the so Joe we all know love. So now you love it. Now you love it. I'm not quite saying I love it. Moving on. I just changed it. Hate it. I just changed it. Love it for sure. All right, next up.